Good evening. Welcome to Snag and Night Live. We are live tonight on the James River. We have uh, a tennis angler coming up here in just a little bit, too. But we're going to be doing some fishing tonight. I will be um, um, catching by proxy through Austin and Stan on the James River. I can so, deal with it. It's a little symmetrical. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. OCD kicking in. Oh, oh man, he moved. We had the the mad cast on the outside, and then he moved it over one, and it's been driving me crazy. <laughs> I just made it a little bit better, though. <laughs> Hope everybody's having a good evening. Beautiful out here. Yes, it is. I mean, I'm not I'm not far from where y'all are at, but it's it's a beautiful night. It's not too cold. The uh, stars are out. They are, aren't they? There's no, uh, well, I'm not going to say that word, so. They're out here. Yeah, it's, there's, a yeah. slight, uh, <laughs> there's, a, there's a slight breeze. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about something else. No. <laughs> <laughs> that could have been a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. I know, uh, I know the bait shop is still, uh, still live over there on Fields to Water, so when, uh. When they close down, I'm sure people will jump over here. But we oh, appreciate they will. everybody coming to join us. Yes, indeed. We got Mike Sampson as always being one of the very first people in tonight. Saying hello to everybody. Saying hello to Dustin, Austin, Two Stan, Stan Three, Danny Stone. Fish in the Mid South saying always first. Even when you're last, you're always first. Dale, hey, Slip says, let's go. <laughs> Joshua Perham says, what's up, Austin, Dustin? Let's catch a big one, Austin. We're trying, buddy. We're trying. We got Skull we Rush good... in the house. What's going on, Skull Rush? What's up? We had a good skunk buster. Yeah, we we have caught one. It's uh, whoa, whoa, on whoa. the GoPro. Oh, yeah. This is Spin Rod just got hit. Yes, it did. We've been getting hits. We're also using some pretty big hooks. The uh, we got some of those fourteen aught Freddy hooks out there. So big, big, big boys, big baits. There We've been go. there's fish here. There's fish here. We got a we got one fish in the boat that was around thirty pounds. Nice. Before the live started, so yeah. Sampy saying here, kitty, kitty, kitty. That's right. Hey, we got Gregory Lemon in the house saying hi, everyone. How you doing, Gregory? Hey, Mr. buddy. Fever with the waves. Seven twelves. How you doing? Hope you're feeling well. Hope to hope everybody in the in the household is doing well. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> got snacks coming home. We got snacky snacks. Snack. Oh yeah, yeah. Sure <clears throat> we got Charles Breckerridge saying, "What's up, guys?" Your little brother gone wild. Say hey all hi all. Fish weren't biting today, but the but the ticks were. Had five of them on me. Holy cow. Gotta be careful with that. Uh Charles Breckeridge said he caught a decent flathead today. Cool. All right. All right since, since we got them out on the boat, I'm gonna go ahead and put them on full screen until our other angler gets here. Here we go. Since this is gonna be a fishing show tonight. Uh, Gregory, I am in my backyard sitting on my uh, swing, uh, looking up at the stars, wishing I was fishing. Yeah. Oh, swim bait. I, I probably know right where you were. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, Dustin, at least it's a pleasant evening to be sitting outside. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Mrs. Fever said if he comes home with snacks, I'll let him out the house more often. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's got a couple trays full of snacks. Oh. I don't know how much we're going to make it home, but I gave him a couple trays from, uh, from Rhonda. Whoa. Uh, Charles, I wish I could show this. I'm on my phone right now. I cannot show... I can't share my screen from my phone, but that's a nice flathead. 
Were the were the stripers biting too? How much did it weigh? They really need to allow you to share your screen on your phone. Yeah. What's up, Wabash Nate? Says Eve and all. Hey, hey. Crappy Day Fish on says hello, good people. What's up, bud? What's going on, Nate? Thank you all for coming in. We appreciate it. We're gonna be we're gonna be catching tonight. When I say we, uh, this is the reminiscent of a a stand two comment. When I say we, I mean they. <laughs> we'll be we'll be fishing or we'll be catching tonight. I will be swinging in my in my swing on my back porch. Joshua Perham said, "There's probably room for three guys in that boat, Dustin." I know. <laughs> uh, there's room for three guys, but you ain't you ain't going nowhere with three guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, that you, you have two guys fishing and one guy sitting down. Yeah, definitely. Pretty normal. Yeah, that's. It's, <laughs> sometimes you got one guy fishing and one guy sitting down. You know. Even, yeah, even yeah. With we got uh let's see rebel river cats in the house then hello everyone hey doug lance maku guy the hawaiian fisherman says hello everyone got a lot of people to come in john boys cat fishing cincinnati cat saying hey dustin and austin good luck tonight austin and stan threes out there with him as well all right here we go we got our our bait angler in the in 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 with us this evening. Hey, hello, hello. Josh, how you doing? What's Thanks up, bud? Hey, what a privilege. I get to fish with... Oh, man, they're going to clean me up. <laughs> nah, we're just not nah. having a good time tonight, Josh. Yeah, I'm a, I am... A, I had to talk to my mom. I don't know if you remember a couple weeks ago, I said I, I'm going to try to get her from Ohio and bring her down to Tennessee. Well, she fell uh, like the week that that same weekend. She fell and broke her arm. Oh, oh no! So I had to talk to her. She's got surgery, and she, two weeks ago they said, "Oh, you you just dislocated it." Well, she she went back two days ago, and it's a clean break, and they missed it. Wow. I was like, I'm oh, I'm an "Good gracious!" Um, well, since COVID okay. hit, since COVID hit. I think they fired a lot of people because they wouldn't get the COVID. Break, man. Uh, break. You know, they wouldn't get the COVID shot, so they fired some good help, good workers. So, but I don't know. <sighs> well, hopefully she's okay. Hopefully they get it set. They got it yeah. set, and uh, everything's gonna be it'll heal quickly. Yeah. yeah. I've got to get set up. Guess what? I'm using for a stand for my phone. What's that? I'm using rocks. <laughs> hey, they work just as well as anything else. Yeah, I just got to find a, a good distance. I was looking for my tripod and I couldn't find it. I think I left it in Sean's boat. Oh, no. Uh oh. Let's uh. make sure he doesn't throw it in the river. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> If you don't know what he's talking about, go check out uh, uh, Chief Snag and Whiskers uh, shorts. Sean apparently likes to throw things in the river. Oh, no. That's terrible. That's terrible. Probably, had a, probably caught a bunch of bait in it, too. <laughs> probably, probably just getting drugged, all that bait getting drugged down the river. Uh, hook up. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. God. I don't know. <sighs> Fish are messing with our motions tonight. Bear with me. Yep. <laughs> yeah, like 15th one. That must be a uh, that must be one of the big hooks. Oh. We got 205 Wild Action saying, what's up, y'all? Hey, 205. Wild Action they said, Austin working that maternity leave. Good. Maternity. Yeah. <laughs> maternity leave. Uh, Charles Breckenridge said he didn't have a scale with him, but he's guessing that flathead was probably 30 to 35 pounds. Nice. Heck yeah. I guess that was fun. Solid fish right there. 
JG Hill Studio. If I had a cowbell, I'd bring it for you, JG. Good evening, sir. I have to do something. Greg Burgess says, hello, Dustin. Good to see you guys. Hey, Greg. JG. Man, JG. people are yawning already. Yep. JG, I got to find a hill to put my phone on. <laughs> I, by the time I by the time I get set up, it's gonna be time to go. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, I I say we started at nine. We don't have any ending time. Um, I mean, I do have to work tomorrow, so I don't plan on staying out staying on here too late. But if y'all are catching fish, I'm willing to stay up here and stay live and well, I'm we'll, gonna we'll take fish with you. I don't blind myself. We got Randy, old gray haired Swain in here saying, Hey, 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 y'all. Can you see me now? Randy? We see you. All right. We That's got cool. Missy Kennedy saying, LOL, fat guy in a little boat. That's right. No, I'm not on the boat, Missy. I am. <laughs> we got Cold Creek Catfish and Billy saying, Hello, Dustin Austin, and staying three. Hey, Billy. What's up? We got Benoit fishing outdoors. How you doing? Hey, Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate that. Hey, Benoit. Shad Daddy's in the house. How you doing, Shad Daddy? Good. If anybody out there who's a moderator wants to drop links to the other channels, that's Maybe fine. Maybe come up to it. Help each other out. We appreciate that. Hey. Gigi Hill saying that X-ray folks missed a broken oh, yeah, shoulder. X-ray folks missed a broken shoulder on his dad a few years back. Like what the like what the heck? Sorry to hear that news, Josh. Oh yeah, it's retarded. It's the most retarded out, thing. Out. We don't like to use that word, Josh. Just so you know. I'm. Sorry, it's crazy. <laughs> it's a, the dark is what what. You know what I'm saying? It's it's the I know, it's, it's it's crazy to think that they could do an X-ray and then miss something like that. A break. Yeah. yeah. Uptown, Chrissy Brown. What's going on? Thanks for coming in. Be a good thing. going on, man. Miss Lisa Elliott. Good evening. Yeah, this fish all around us. There's like a, there's a Did you guys here. find any hickories in the net? One uh, really? amongst about 103 gizzard shed. <laughs> wow. I don't I know if, if you can... Go ahead. You, you see the cooler? Yeah, hold on. I don't, on. Know, full screen. I don't know if you can tell, but it's not all the way closed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Gill net or cast net? Gil. Oh, we were, we're such good fishermen. We caught all them on rod and reel. <laughs> yeah, okay. You're good, but you're not that good, Stan 3. <laughs> Charles Breckeridge said there was, there. let's see, there definitely were plenty of gizzard yeah. shad jumping around downtown. Yep. Yeah. yeah. We dropped a 75 foot uh, gill net, and that was probably 70 foot too long. <laughs> this is a good problem to have though yeah cut into some quality fishing time though well yeah I guess there is that did you catch any catfish in the gill net nope oh you want nope. to get on this time Dang it. they're just messing with us can you see my Did big drop that, uh, yep, we can see it. Green. Okay, yeah, it's perfect. Thank you, Stan. Three, yep. I got my FOA rod down here. There you go. Speaking of FOA, um, Freddie, Freddie on the bait shop was showing off, um, the, the prototype seven foot six rods they're testing. They've got three of them. Fish uh, on. Oh, fish fish on. On Austin. here we go. FOA's got three rods they're testing. Uh, two of them are casting rods. One's got the um, saltwater eyes on it. 
so the thicker eyes. Um, and then he's got a um, a casting rod. Um, but they all have one. They all have like eleven eyes on the rods. Right, eleven. Wow. Yeah, most casting or most most seven foot six rods have ten. He put a he went with eleven. Okay. Uh, come loose. Oh man! Stole the bait. Speaking of FOA, if you want to use, uh, if you want to go check out FOAcustomsandgear.com, get you any any of your fishing needs, you'll be covered. Any anywhere from rods, anywhere from rods to terminal tackle, uh, to uh, to bait, to uh, bait lures or stuff like that. Um, there's a hickory power line. It's awesome. What's that? Hold on. There's that. There's the one hickory we got. Nice. Well, put them out now. Yeah, they're so biting. They're hook. Well, we only got one, so I wanted to. I wanted to save it. Oh, okay. We appreciate that. Yeah. I wanted to show you. Let's see, uh, Rowdy Royal says, "Good evening, everyone, on panel and in chat. How you doing, Rowdy? Hey, Rowdy Royal." Nice. Yeah, I got a good a good bunch of white perch the other day, uh, James. Or who is that, Charles? I'm a little backed up on chat real quick right now. I uh, just <laughs> got a um, a message from Aaron uh, a Aaron, Catfish Instigator says so far today we have caught a 33, a 25.1, an 11.4, an 11, a 7.12, and this is a 52. Point oh, and. Uh, and a 7.12, this is a 52.5. You just caught a 52? Nice. Very nice. Sweet. Something been bouncing on that one the whole time you were baking up. <laughs> Charles said he'll be out there tomorrow fishing for white perch. Hopefully going to have a fish fry tomorrow. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got Dude. a bunch of white perch, and I made uh, we made tacos. There you go, man. That was good. I got some Something of that. Uh, what's it called? Boom boom sauce or yum yum sauce? Ooh, oh, yum yum. Yeah. Ooh, it's good stuff. Speaking of white perch, did y'all get any of those in the gillnet? Nope. 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 I tried for a little bit. Had a sabiki rig, but I didn't. I didn't have no worms or nothing to tip it. Yeah, they've been uh, they've been a little uh, finicky this year. Yep, and the river is still moving pretty fast. Yeah, that's true. Hey, we got LKA Life, uh, aka um, Amy. How you doing, Miss Amy? Thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. That's uh, mm. that's Amy Jane's namesake. For those of you that don't know, the rod and reel that she donated to the channel. Hey, Miss Rhonda, fishing for whiskers. Howdy, hi, y'all. Hope y'all have a great time down at the dock. And thank you again so much for all the snacks. Yes, thank you, Rhonda. All right, Rhonda, we need some in our store. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah I, tried, I tried some of that pumpkin spice creamer this morning, Rhonda. It was really good. She makes a uh, pumpkin spice creamer. Yes, she does. Homemade. Oh, make anything for Dustin. Yeah, I was going to say, if you're Dustin, she <laughs> does. <laughs> All right. Yeah, no, I, was, I had to hold that in my fridge. <laughs> I appreciate that. I promise you got all of it, Dustin. I was going to say, it looked like about a third of it was missing, but I, didn't, I wasn't going to say anything. No. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, Miss Amy is in South Carolina right now. I hope you're having a good time there. Looks like your internet's working again. little inside joke for from work issues. Yeah, Miss yeah. Rhonda said, you are most welcome. Did you get the bug spray also? Yes, I got the bug. Did y'all get bug spray? Uh, Yeah, I did. <laughs> are you using it? 
<laughs> no, I forgot to. That's the one thing I forgot to bring for Austin. I grabbed all the food out of the box. I forgot to grab the the bug spread. Forgot. Just didn't. I swear, it. I forgot. <laughs> Ron said, I felt bad that he missed uh where to go. I felt bad that he missed pumpkin season in hospital and re in the hospital and rehab. <laughs> I appreciate that. I tell you, one of the uh when I was at the trauma center uh at VCU after my last surgery on my wrist, I because you know, when I was there at the trauma center, I had I was there for for seven days, um, I believe, something like that. From the 15th to the 22nd. Yeah, seven Perfect. Days. And I had... Fish. Oh, got a fish. Sorry, I was talking. I didn't pay attention. Uh, a little, little white bass, little white bass. Guess what? He's bait. Been going on a hook. Yep. But what I, yeah, all right. It's a fishing show. It's officially a fishing show. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Let me read some more comments. Uh, Mrs. Fever said, Miss Rhonda, looking forward to Austin getting home this evening with our our ration of Rhonda snacks. <laughs> there you go. Me too. I'm I'm looking forward to get into that. Benoit Fisher oh. said, JG, I got hit by the first mosquito while our bait while bait fishing today here in Ohio. We've started to hit seventy to seventy five and seen some people who with ticks on them. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Yeah, I've been getting hit by mosquitoes for the last uh couple weeks on the warmer days. Yeah, Sunday when we were out Sunday night they were out. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't bother me that day though. They were all no, on you. Good. That's right, because they were all on me. <laughs> You're welcome. Appreciate that. <laughs> now I know why you bring me out on the I'm just kidding. <laughs> if um, <laughs> you're a big target that's right what's that josh I go live during the day let me know i'll put you on the whoop it down got another one. Oh yeah ah, another bait fish well i don't do a lot of live during the day except for maybe on the weekends um because i work during the day but oh oh he might be a short it's a crappy a crappy crappy too short. <laughs> there you go. Is that That'd a light up bobber? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, it takes a 1632 battery. Uh, what do you say? 615 yeah. battery? Or 1632. I got it. Yeah, I got it. It's, almost, it's like 7 twelfths of a yeah, double edge. <laughs> Rhonda yeah. said, Mrs. Beaver, pumpkin bread and pumpkin muffins, Christmas crack, and maple cream cheese frosting. That's what's coming home. Well, you know, she didn't need to know all that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, she, the, whatever I brought home is what was coming home. <laughs> but now you don't put me in a position. I don't that, think that, she said anything about the muffins, did she? No. Yes. Yes. Oh, sorry. But that that pan of that pan of Christmas crack is gonna be sitting right next to Austin on the seat on the way home. It's probably gonna be halfway gone. Gonna try not to. We got storms coming in about eleven thirty. Oh goodness! You have an addictive personality, though. <laughs> Hilly Billy Hondo, what's going on? So good evening, Dustin, Austin, and Chat. Good evening. Mrs. Oh, Fever said it sounds heavenly. Heavenly. My word. He uses very often. Christmas crack men can do weird things. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> two stands? What, what? Two stands? What are you doing? Why are you in chat? Not up here. Is what are you yep? doing? I'm not sure why, Rhonda. I'm not sure what he's talking about. So I'm gonna skip over that. He, he, said, he was I'm, saying that he was saying that he only got half a pan of stuff. <laughs> trying to imply that I ate it. Oh, and, and drink some of my, or use some of my creamer. I get it. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, that was Rhonda, something. Rhonda said, also bug spray, but I didn't want to put that in the snack categories. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, yeah. He said, I'm not sure why Ronda only made half a loaf and a quarter of a sheet of Christmas crackers. <laughs> oh, JG said to keep to keep you slim. That's why, Stan. Yeah, when Stan three handed it to me, it felt kind of light. <laughs> I got hungry on the way over. <laughs> Next time she's got to vacuum seal it. That way you'll know if it was getting gotten into. The stands will just buy a vacuum sealer. <laughs> we'll get around that. That's an easy one. Loop, fix loophole. Hey Mac, and what's I, going on? Thanks for coming I, in, Mac. I don't know about that carrot cheesecake because when, by the time I got back home, it was gone. So it must have been good. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a gooder one. So skip jerk. Skip jerk. Got my other line. That's why they call him skip jerk. Yes, your dad said, Dronda, it's gone. <laughs> How is the carrot cheesecake? Yeah, it's gone. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to adjust the like that. I'm going to show you something. All right, we got you on full screen. JG said, well, maybe it needs one of those door dash clips on the, on the next round. Proof seal. <laughs> You got the good bait there. Yeah, yeah, can you go ahead and uh, mail mail that on over? I'm going to tell you something. See this? This little jig here? Let's see. I've caught almost 40, 50 skipjack off this this little guy right here. It's uh, Danielle makes these jigs. It has the wire keeper on the jig head. And I don't know what it is. They see about that that red head and that little tail. But this this is the hard blend bait. And I'm gonna give you guys if we see you at the gathering, I'm gonna give you guys some. But that's been my ticket right there. So, well, there you go, Dustin. We got a don't we? You're going to the gathering, right? I hope to be. <laughs> Depends on what my doctor says. But, but we might have a boat. James River representative. Yes, that's the plan. All right. He does, a, he does a hard blend bait, and I've caught over twenty five fish on one on one bait. Yeah, that's Beautiful. that's cool. So that's you said a, it's got uh, the you said it's got the wire keeper on there, like it's yeah. uh like it's yeah, weedless or something. No, the wire sticks behind the jig head. It's not lead. It's a it's a wire that it holds that bait on better. Oh, I got you. Like a I think yeah, I a think bait holder. Stan, two stands is gathering. Gone, Never heard of it. I'll uh, have to send you a picture. Come on, Austin. Don't miss it this time. <laughs> I haven't missed a single fish. These fish have been missing the hook. Oh, okay. That's kind of like Jody cooking. There's nothing wrong with Jody's cooking. It's always the food. There's something it's wrong with the food. True. It's, yeah, it's true. our missing, taste buds. Missing fish and catfishing is a myth. <laughs> you don't miss fish and catfish and it either it gets a hook or it don't. <laughs> That's my story. Sounds good. <laughs> I'll go with it. Hey, wow, I want to be outdoors, man. What's going on? Says Ethan Fellas. Oh, there we go, Mrs. Fever. He's she's like, is that excuses I hear? See what happened was. <laughs> yeah, what did Tony call them? They're not excuse. It's reasons. It's not excuses. It's reasons. <laughs> there you go. Rhonda said, "Oh, hey, Mike Sampson, new member. Thank you, Mister Sampy. We really hey. appreciate that." There we you go. New, we got a new Whisker Warrior in the house. Thank you, Sampy. Oh, appreciate that. Hey, Mike. Anybody else Way want to go. go check that out? The link is in the description. Thank you all. Thank you, every one of our Whisker Warriors. We really appreciate that. You're welcome. Rhonda said, rumor has it the instigator, Lisa and Tom, are going to the gathering thing. Uh-oh. I heard that, too. That one looked like well, he might be we'll up. Well, maybe we'll see you there. Hey, Sean. Hey. Oh, finally. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> are you serious? Hey, I got, I got Tom down. Hold on, hold on one second, Josh. Yeah. 
We got Damn Burrito off. Catfish and Lady, Miss Lisa Swain in the house, saying Dustin Austin and Josh Howdy. That hey, don't hey. even make sense. Came off hey, again. Gosh. Dang it. You'll get the next one. That thing, that one was should have been hooked up 100. percent It had it take, it had it held down for like five seconds or more. Oh, that explains it. There you go. That's the reason. Here's another skip jerk. Right there. See what happened. Here, show the show the head of that skipjack. This one. Mm hmm. Right. And look at the look at the head of this hickory shell. You can't tell the difference of. So. Yeah. Well. Except for that one's alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo, woo, woo. Hey, hey, come on. All right. And then I'll exit there. Oh. Ready? Austin just launched it already. Oh, okay. You ready, Stan? Three. Get your weight up. <laughs> <laughs> right. I need to. I, I think what he said is get your bait up. That's right. Need to get my hook up. Chris from Hooks and Hammocks popped in to, to hit the thumbs up. Says he's got an early morning tomorrow catching fish. So there you go. Good luck tomorrow. Well, good luck, Chris. Stay safe out there. These skip jerk I catch tonight are going to be on ice tomorrow for sale. There you go. <laughs> what oh, the here word? goes Matt. Did I do that by clicking it? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to read it. Sure is getting well, there you go. Fly. Up, down, up, down. I don't think he knows what he's doing, Stan 3. Maybe you should grab the next one. I'd like to see a fish tonight. <laughs> wow. This is why me and Mrs. Fever get along so well. I didn't say it, okay? <laughs> I was going to let him miss one more, and then I was going to make that comment. But you did not say it. <laughs> this is some... Bull carp. I love the support. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even if you're hating, if you're watching me, you're supporting. That's right. The views, the views. Sampy said, Dustin and Austin, if I come to the gathering, it will be Saturday. Come on down or come down. I hope to, I hope to be there. I hope so. I hope you're there too. So what 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 was the doctor saying that you can't go? I mean, like if you if you cannot go, what? Just... It's it's the hematologist. It's uh, dealing with the um, my blood thinner medicine. I don't know. Um, I, I I honestly he hasn't said yes or no. He he hasn't even said anything about it. Um, yeah. I just my appointment's on May 9th. Um, okay. and they're gonna you know check my hip again to see if there's any remaining clots. Um. To see if they're going to take me off of the blood thinner, if they're going to keep me on the blood thinner. Yeah. So, I I I would prefer not to get taken off the blood thinner until after I get back, if I'm going to go, just so I don't have to worry about it. Yeah. So. Man, what? A... Come on. But we'll see. We'll see. Jeff Bio, what's going on? Thanks for coming in. This is activity. We've been getting a hit like every two minutes at least. Oh yeah. Mrs. Fever said, Rhonda, I'm a really simple creature. <laughs> sure, I agree with that. Rhonda says she wants to see a fish and snacky snacks. Jeez, why is this so hard to comprehend? I'm going to show you. Not half of that. But, right. Well, we can guarantee the snacky snack. I got a fish on the GoPro. I can show you when I get home. All right, all right, all right. Stop. You skip dirt. Stop. Hammer time. I'm going to show you. All right, this is proof right here. Hammer time. In the pudding. <laughs> Look at that. That little, that little red, that little red ball. Nice. <laughs> it just happened. <laughs> hey, right. Bobcat's in the house. What's going on, Bobcat? No, I'm jealous that you could catch them at night. Uh, you guys cool. have a light up there? Like they're in the under the lights up in the loft. 
We got there's light, but they, you still don't catch any. Well, the only, only lock, the only locks we have are on our boat trailers. <laughs> ah. <laughs> well, well. Yeah. I'd have to rig up some. I have to rig something up. That might be worth trying one night. I've got a light that I—it's a blue light that I can throw in the in the water. Might be worth getting a couple, getting two or three boats anchored up right next to each other, and put the Compex lights right in the water where it kind of compounds. There you go. We got Chad from Fields the Water in the house with a, a looks like a bald headed. Glasses emoji. There you go. Another fish. Oh, look at that. You, Hold on one second. Are you wearing your glasses, Doug? I am not. Yeah, I went I went uh, old school bobcat doing some Amish fishing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> the wooden hooks aren't really performing, though. You got to sharpen them. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't think of that. <laughs> Jeff Beal said he's washing his winter clothes for Saturday, low of 42. Oh, yeah. yeah make sure you all tune in for that on Jeff Beal's channel. The, right. DIY, the DIY rod challenge. I'll, I'll be fishing it with the six foot six heavy action Amish assassin. Oh, it is a little more than heavy action. It's got more bend than you think. It's uh, if something it's, puts a bend it's deceiving. In it's deceiving. If you watch the short I made in slow mo, you can see that thing whip. You, you did the, the shake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, I I put it. Uh, oh, oh, oh! Come on! All right, stand three. Go get it. I put it right on. Uh, like I anchored the bottom of the rod, or the butt of the rod, by my foot and bent it, and uh, I was like, "Dang, this thing's actually got some little bit of bend in it." And I did it again, and I heard like a slight crack, and I was like, "All right, that's that's about as much as this guy." That <laughs> <laughs> again. Hey, we got CVA in the house. <laughs> You're just just loosening up the fibers, putting more action in the rod. That's right. That's right. We got four rods getting nibbles right now. If we had six out hooks, we would this freaking this boat would be full of fish right now. I don't think you have six out hooks in your repertoire. I do though. I got four outs. Yeah, Brittany's Brit got some real tiny ones sent us. Are those like number twos or? You have uh, some bright bite, don't you? Bright bite. Yeah, he's got a set of the. the Tiny bright bites. Oh, I won a tournament. I don't remember which one I won, but I won a uh, FOA. I won a FOA tackle pack. I went and it had all that stuff in it. I win so many of them. I don't remember which one I won. I guess I did sound like a jerk a little bit, didn't I? <laughs> no, I bought some four ops from uh, John Cyclone. Okay. At uh, CatCon for uh, when I take my daughter fishing for eater size gotcha but they are on the boat bobcats can i have some water below the dam please oh tva can i have some water below the dam please two stands yep. said austin used the ancient new wave dutch wood techniques and made the wood whippy i sure did you gotta steam it you gotta That's smoke right. it We get that from our ship building, building. techniques. <laughs> Y'all didn't know the Amish built ships, did you? No, I did not. Like the Vikings, like New Wave Viking. Uh, they're like size nice reversal. Interesting yeah. cross old, old the Amish. <laughs> an, an Amish Viking, that'd be interesting. That's the limit. <laughs> nine two two, what's going on? Thanks for coming in. Hey nine two two. 
Come on, hook up. Hook up. Nope. You Bob that's that's is, right. That's Bob what I'm doing. having bumping withdrawals. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh. We got the big live bait. Something chasing it. We got a whole gizzard shad out there when we say live bait. Yeah. And when we say whole gizzard shad, we mean like I got a 12 inch like gizzard shad. Like two pound bait. Wow. Every single rod. Every single rod's getting hit. Starting to get a little, a little frustrated here. The angry Amish. Oh boy, don't want to deal with them. Well, I've I've hopped up for no less than like ten fish that haven't hooked up, so it's about time. It'll happen. It'll happen. We're probably going to give. Well, as soon as you say, as soon as you say, I'm tired of it. You get the next one. It'll actually hook up. You're right. It will. <laughs> it will. Look at that. Look at that. Brian B said, "Angry, are you? Frustrated. What's up, Bubba? Playing with our emotions." Bobcat said, "Oh, nice. That'll make a great takedown." I don't know that one that I caught. It had no problem hooking up. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> True. That sucker crushed it too. It hit yeah. the the suspend rod. And it just had that thing buried, dragged, peeling out of it. We're waiting for a monster. These are all 20, 30 pounders. We're waiting for a 60 plus. As I say, God damn it. Darn it. You're kidding. He took that bait. I guarantee you took that bait. That was a live bait, wasn't it? Yep. Oh, man. Oh, get the heck out of that thing. Well, that live bait's still on there. That's good, man. I don't get it. Yeah. Something chasing him. Holy moly. Something smacked the heck out of him. Something Mike tyson him. Austin caught air getting up from the seat <laughs> right there. <laughs> Had like the Jordan pose. Oh my gosh, man! I think I had a heart attack. <laughs> the Air Jordans, like, yeah. like this. <laughs> yeah. The Air Austins, like, like this, reaching over for the ball. <laughs> Legs doing the splits, just about. I saw that. Yeah, that live bait's still on there. I'm down. <laughs> Nine two two said, "Wow, I didn't think the Amish could move that fast." He surprised me a couple times tonight. You'd be surprised when you gotta outrun traffic when you when your buggy breaks down. <laughs> Mrs. Fever said, "Looked away and looked back, and Austin standing up again with empty hands." I thought we had a plan. <laughs> <laughs> well, that 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 plan nope. fell short, Mrs. Fever. These fish are not cooperating, okay? These are about the most active, inactive fish I've ever seen. <laughs> they got to all be blind. <laughs> they got terrible aim. They keep missing the hook. Hey, Stan, how long have you been in the basement? Well, I was uh, 22 when I got in here. So. <laughs> <laughs> welcome up. Well, welcome in. Let me move. Thank you. Thank you. No, it hasn't been that long. Okay, I just looked down and said, whoa, I got a guest. Look at that. Hey, Austin hello. only jumped up three times since he's been in the basement. It wasn't that long. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's been about two minutes. Sorry about that. What's up, Stan? What's up, Josh? How's it going? All right. Josh is catching fish. I saw, I saw old varieties from... From skipjack to white bass, I wasn't sure. One of them looked like a white perch, even. Trying to catch uh, some war war mouths, put on the FOA rod alive. There you go. Uh, we've had some flatheads move up in here. Lisa Elliott saying, "Hey, Stan, what's up, Lisa?" Now, Josh, what do you consider a war mouth? A green sunfish has got the 
There you go. All right. Sides, you know. Yep. The, yep. Got the four lines. Um, that was number eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Brian B said Stan sounds older than usual. <laughs> yeah. It's a new microphone. Thing. New microphone, Brian. It's more realistic. Oh. <laughs> Rhonda saying, gee, Brian, if you, you know, if you were here, you could have seen Tom's 52.7 pounder. Uh -huh. I think the biggest fish Brian's seen or caught is a 52 ouncer. That's, that's over, overestimating. Uh, no, I'm just trying to be generous. You know me. Nice. To be generous. All these shots being fired at us just because we're professional commentators now. <laughs> Everybody else said, sorry, sorry, stay, hold on a second. Mrs. Sears said, Did he turn his hat around <laughs> to help with the wind resistance? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta move quicker. He's getting serious. <laughs> look, if you're not going to get anything on the hook, you might as well look good while you're doing it. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I want to go, Brian B. What you got? As soon as you got close to it. That's my fault. <laughs> it doesn't count. He didn't touch the rod. It doesn't count. Brian, you name the you name the day. I, I'm there. We can switch, and everybody can start blaming them on me. Whenever you. <laughs> 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 to do that. Make you feel a little better. They might move the spot. Randy said Brian has to be a commentator because his boat won't run. Rod said, gee, Bubbles, was it something I said? What's up, shit, Daddy? <laughs> it's hard to believe it's already 13. It's got 13 minutes till 10. Oh, my God. Time flies, huh? When you're having fun. Yeah. You're missing fish. Three, <laughs> four, four fish a minute. <laughs> that was number fifty-five that Austin missed right there. Uh, <laughs> he's no, he's that's his new workout. That one might. <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all see the poll? <laughs> no. That thing his that thing was bent over for a good fifteen seconds. I, I even I even I waited. Up, I even waited. I yeah, even that's... waited. Okay. Gosh, man, what the world? Look, there he is again. He's still there. Just not there. There. Everybody in chat has got to put our collective positivity together. Put some thumbs up out in the chat. We'll get that positive going for Austin. And he'll be able to hook up into one of these fish. We can do it. Hey, what about me? You've been catching You've been fish. Catching. You're catching fish. <laughs> there we go. It's a catfish show, right? Yeah, we're taking anything show. at this point. It's not, not yet. <laughs> I just said tonight this is a fishing show. Oh, I'm good. So Aaron, uh, Aaron just messaged me and said they've got they got six fish for 137 pounds. Nice. All right. Well, Austin's about to do it in one fish here. Oh, good lord! <laughs> I'd be glad that's on our channel, on our I show. Feel the positivity going. Matter of fact, yeah, I don't know. For us to get it. I don't know if they're biting the floats, JG, but every <laughs> pole has floats on them. Thank you, Doug. There's Doug giving you. Doug, there's Doug. Doug believes in you. Rebel River out there believes in you, Austin. He thinks you're going to do it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I can always Sears, count on him. Mrs. Right after that, Mrs. Sears said I would stand, but I'm more of a realist. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, a uh, live bait. Don't like your wife to keep you honest, right? Live bait. Just <laughs> that again. Well, yeah, no, see, yeah, you're right. Being on big screen, at least, you know, they're not biting now, so at least you're not missing them. Oh, they're biting. 
You just can't see them. Uh, rod number. That's number two. And number number two. And number six. <laughs> Dude, number three. It goes number five. They're all number two. Number two. Look, number two is going down. Comes right back up. Oh, there you go. Yep, yep. Come on, flat yeah. come on, come on, come on. Let him, let it go, let it go. Meow. All right, he's got to be on there, Austin. I think we got one. Dude. Everybody, keep your fingers crossed. That's hey, right. See, John. Catfish Hunters TV's in the house. Come on, come on. Positivity's got to work. Jeep. Bacon. What's up, Jeep? Thanks for coming in. JG said you have to count Austin's uh, Austin's counting. It's not real good. He's not real good at it. <laughs> That's that new wave Dutch counting. It's a little That's different. That's right. Uncle Jeep said, is the James River still sleepy? No, no. I ain't sleeping. They're, they're real active. Uh, we're getting hits like crazy, but we're using some big hooks, so we're expecting. You know, we need we need big, 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 big fish. Gregory said, "Austin, you need to be flash. Get to that rod next time." <laughs> if I'm going quicker. I'm going right out the back of the boat. <laughs> And then you'll just say, I was going after the fish. Forget the rod. There you go. Hey, look, oh, I did it. Oh, look at that. Stan 3 was going to sneak up on hey, you. Uh, okay, let's go with the comments. <laughs> <laughs> that was only one. That was one fish, okay? Brian, I I've never it. seen. fish missed it. I've never seen somebody that happy to catch a fish. Must be rough on the little James River. Woof. <laughs> Dang. What is that, Aaron? No, no the, other, the other dink master. That's right. That was Bubbles, the other commentator. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. Oh, there's two. Oh, I wasn't getting up for, the, for that. I was looking at uh, the fish. Yeah, Austin's oh, okay. been fighting this fish for a while. It might be must be a pretty good one. Oh yeah, it's a it's a <laughs> good fish, yeah. Mrs. Fever said, good job, Stan Three. Way to be quick. You'll get him next time. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. They're going they're coming at me now, Austin. Are we really looking up? Yep, there's Stan Three blocking the camera. I wonder where he gets that from. Well, Oh. What the what? <laughs> it was right there. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. The funny part was it wasn't even really hooked. It was snagged. It was snagged in the back. All right. All right, Josh. Show us the fish. Oh, That's pretty pretty good. I, put, I put them on small screen so that we uh, we could see some fish. Oh, my goodness. There you go. Hey, it hooked me. Guess what that is? White uh, bass head. And on the DB FOA. FOA. Oh, there it is. This is yep. a. Oh. <laughs> 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 Mrs. Fever said, Are y'all in the river or in the driveway? I think I've seen this prank before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting to see. I'm waiting to see Doug come shooting up over the railing. <laughs> I, was, you, you better get going. She's got some good ones going tonight. Thoughts. All right. <laughs> That's a good this idea. She's a favorite good. troll this evening. Thanks to death, you. Yeah. She she's been on fire tonight. I got to give her that was funny. Absolutely. That was pretty good. Says, so. good. That fish. Uh, that fish. Had, I had my hopes up about that fish, but he was just hooked right in the back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Uncle Jesus, right. how's, the weather for, how's the weather for you guys? It's hot here, almost mid 90s. Rumors say triple dip, digits this weekend. Well, it was in the high 80s today here in Richmond. 
It's nice right now. Lisa Elliott says, Stan 2 better uh, loan Austin and Stan 3 one of those pairs of glasses. <laughs> yeah. You know what? We're what? not going to close this down until y'all catch a fish, Austin. Okay. Well. That's fine. I guess I'm pulling another all-nighter. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you, whatever you want to do, I'm I'm game. <laughs> Y'all plan on staying out there a while? <laughs> yeah, apparently we got to take the fish now. There you go. Uh, Mrs. Fever says if Austin didn't want to be harassed on the internet, you know he'd stay home and help with bedtimes. It's a small price to pay for freedom. <laughs> 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 That's right, Lisa Elliott. Mic drop. Mrs. Fever for the win. Uncle Chief said glasses don't work when you're looking at your belly button. I'm looking <laughs> out your belly button. <laughs> oh, now they're both just gonna stand. Oh, they're are they? Are you moving? No, yeah, we're moving spots. But this is oh, okay. uh, part of the reason uh, we're just getting taps. We're using big baits. Gotcha. Oh, now oh, look at the disco. <laughs> <laughs> it's an Amish party out on the boat. <laughs> go Amish. Go Amish. Been spending most of my life living in an Amish paradise. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, that one's even better. I was going to go with Amish ice, but that one's even better. <laughs> Uh, hey, Dustin. Yeah. Hey. hey, uh. Wait, never mind. Well, just wait a second. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm waiting. Let's go. <laughs> look what I look what we got on the boat now. What? We got seats on the boat. Uh, you After get those from? Uh, the interwebs. Nice. <laughs> After we pulled that all, all nighter, I was like, "Okay, I gotta do. I, I'm about tired of this. I gotta That's do awesome. something." Yeah, I broke it in. <laughs> yeah, I think they're both broken with all the getting up and sitting down, getting up and sitting down all night. Speaking That's not what I was up. talking about. <laughs> I know uh, what you were talking about. <laughs> Speaking of uh, breaking it, or, or sitting down, I'm going to come inside and get a little snacky snack of my own. I'm going to sit here in my living room in my recliner. Plug my phone in because it's almost dead. Well, look at here. They might be. I'm not seeing. Uh, you no, know, Mrs. Fever may be onto something. Oh no, no, I see lights. No, I don't. Mrs. Fever may be onto something. I'm not seeing any lights in the background anywhere. <laughs> that does not happen that, very often. On, yeah, it doesn't happen very often on the James River. Fish on, fish on. Oh, fish on. on, hold on. We got you on full screen. Yeah, we're moving spots now. All right. Well, it's about time. <laughs> hey, that, thing, that middle one. <laughs> Look, I'm telling him. Boom. Yeah. Pretty sure we had like six dots or something. There you go. Yeah, we don't want those fish. Yeah. He choked it. Is that the only one they're taking tonight, right? Red and white? 
that red one, that middle one, I got one on the bottom, which is a purple head. But these baits, I've had this rig for, I probably should retie, but you know how that goes. <laughs> Especially now that you said it. <laughs> yeah, I've done that before, and but I got about 10 of these tied up. But There you go. That little tiny one again, man, I, I wore them out the other day on Skipjack. I tell you what, red and white, you look at it, that's one of the most... Uh old school colors out there a lot of the old this antique a, if you look at a lot of the old antique lures they were made red and white for a reason this is uh i told our bait maker i said could you take bobby garland monkey milk and put silver in it and it and he come up with silver milk there you go that's the name of it and it's been the killer okay. well, we got them at our store if you want. There you go. And that's Thompson's Outdoors and More, three miles east of Watts Bar Dam. That's right. For all your Any bait and tackle needs and more. <laughs> Jody, Jody James comes. Uh, Mike comes uh, every now and then. I don't know anybody else that watches YouTube that comes around. Uh, and I heard that y'all got, uh, you're getting really fancy. You got a roof on your bathroom and everything. Oh, Dustin's mad. I put a, I put the deck on He's mad. I put walls on it now. <laughs> I like the little airy airiness when you know using the restroom. Everybody see my uh, my snacky snack? Uh, what is that? That's so a Rhonda muffin. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, I don't know if if Rhonda and them are still listening. What that is right there? That is delicious. That is super moist, and then it's got all the that's tough to spice that flavor you can think of and then when that with that super luscious cream on top just the right amount of sugar you know sometimes some people oversweet them no that was just yeah. absolutely perfect just what a what a just a master with the putting the there's the right amount of sugar in everything what well, see chad this is how you this is how you Promote, uh, you know, uh, a nice muffin or a biscuit <laughs> or a treat. Right. Guess what? Guess what, Stan? There you go. He broke off, and I got oh, him. Wow. <laughs> wow. See, just talking about that, that's nuts. I know. I, know. I said I got to retire. I, I use 20-pound fluorocarbon, so... Yep, got to retie. Michelle says, hey, Dustin, I have some of those snacky snacks, too. Nice. I can't wait to come down and get some more of yours, Michelle. That's right. <laughs> There's the lights. I know exactly where they're at now. And I know exactly where they're heading, too. Matt was asking if you use loop knots with that, with your uh, jig rig there, Josh. Uh, it's a double surgeon knot, uh, but I tie the, I tie a Palomar knot and then I go up and do a double surgeon knot. Matt says, "Dustin, who? Where's Sean?" Um, <laughs> well. Sean's uh, Snacks has a basketball tournament this weekend in Pennsylvania. So he will be, uh, as a matter of fact, I think Snacks is up in Pennsylvania now. And I think uh, Sean is going tomorrow morning, so he had to get some sleep. Yeah. Uncle Jeep said tacos, tacos spiced muffins with a dab of Sour cream on top. <laughs> that actually sounds pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I'd try it. <laughs> and M Michelle, don't worry. I will. You know, the next time that Chad comes down, I'm going to have to just get down there while he's there, and give him a little class on how you do an actual food assessment properly because he just doesn't do it justice.
he was eating those delicious Boston Boston cream uh Boston cream pastries and just said, mmm. What do you mean, mmm? You got to describe it. You got to let the audience know how it tastes, how it smells. You got to bring them in there with you. Um, Brian, Brian B. said, Sean said, heck with the James. They ain't got no more fish in it. Okay. Yeah, that, what do you I, know that, about I, fishing anyway, Bubbles? I done caught all the fish. That's why I retired to commentating. Is that what it is? Yep, yep, yep. yep. I left some of the smaller ones out there. What about that 70-pounder I just caught last week? <laughs> uh, CGI. <laughs> CGI or... Uh, 1-800 rent fish may have made a delivery. I'm not sure, but. Yeah, that's true. You can't believe everything you see on YouTube. And <laughs> yeah, there is that option now where you got to disclose this. You're using AI generated content. That's right. That's right. Really? So, on another note, I can almost guarantee this uh, Austin and Stan 3, you guys are going to catch something in that location. Yeah, I've only fished here once or twice. The new spot <laughs> for us. I know, that's why I'm helping you out. Thank you. <laughs> it hasn't been as good as it's been, though. I think there's damn buoys that messed it up. I agree. They really need to put them back. I will. Yeah, I wish they would. Yeah, especially after that time you hit it. Yeah, I ran right into it. The first <laughs> night out with my graph, I was too busy looking down. Boom! Right into it. <laughs> Ring my bell. There you Brian go. Beast said Stan got the last one last week and put it in his trophy cup. <laughs> That's a big bait right there. The donkey hook. Yeah. Right through the eyeballs. The, the, the donkey. Yeah, right here. I'm still looking for my first fish on the FOA rod. It come about five minutes. You'll get it. There it is. I was hoping that you is that still full of cereal? One box of honeycombs fits in there beautifully. You should have totally done that with Wheaties. You know, the breakfast of champions. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, it was set up for you. Well, you know. Honey to the was, obvious thing. That's right. That's right. Anybody could have done Wheaties. Hey, that's hey, good. He didn't, he didn't want to do the obvious thing, Stan 3. You know. Hey, Wheaties is uh, one of my go to for carp. There you go. I used to use dog food. Oh, yeah? What kind? Alpros? Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember. It was such a long time ago. I think the last time I fished for carp, I was in the army, and that was uh, twenty-one years ago. <laughs> it was white, white label, white label dog food. Well, it was a dog food that had, had a hole. In it. it looked like a little donut. It was a little circular piece of dog food with a hole in the middle. <laughs> yes, yeah, see, white label. It was uh, what the heck was the name of those? They were shaped like little bones with a little piece of meat in the center. If that little piece of meat fell out, it was just a. Oh, <laughs> so it was the it was the runoffs of those that didn't have the meat in the center. On a milk bone. <laughs> there you go. That's right, Missy. It was an AI fish. Catfish Hunters TV said more like Fruit Loops. Oh, Apple Jacks, you could fit in there. Oh, Apple Jacks, yeah. John, you Al Cap nah, you know you put some Captain Crunch in there. Somebody timed John Alfred out. He timed me out today. Yeah. John said, I need to win that cup so I can eat out of it. 
But Captain Crunch is so much better, Mom. There you go. Oh, speaking of that, I wonder, can you freeze dry cereal or it just is not good at all? Uh, Isn't it already freeze dried? <laughs> Isn't that how it became cereal? It's already <laughs> dried. Yeah, I yeah. have. <laughs> We, uh, we freeze dried milk duds. You have to use a quarter of a milk dud and it puffs up like about like a 50 cent piece. <laughs> Just a quarter, a quarter of a milk dud. Uh, Randy, Randy Swain said Frosted Flakes. Oh, Brian B. Bro saying uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch for the win. There we go. <laughs> there you go. That's one of my favorites too. Catfish Hunters TV. John saying someone time out Josh again. <laughs> that was. And then John said, "It's already dry, Stanley." Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I was just figuring. <laughs> he was, he was thinking the the quiet part out loud. I was more like, I wonder what would happen. What would what had happened was we put the dry <laughs> cereal in the freeze dryer. <laughs> what what would happen if? Yeah, there you go. That's the uh, sequel. <laughs> That's the sequel book to what had happened was. <laughs> and these are not excuses. These are reasons why. <laughs> Matt says, Brian B. is more a Fruity Pebbles guy. <laughs> hey. It might take that, that bowl. That bowl might take two boxes of Fruity Pebbles. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I got to go with Brian on that Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, I'm a big fan of that, too. Ooh, uh, uh, Randy Old Gray Harris Swain said, but Josh is the only one catching anything. <laughs> Just a bait fisherman. I, I don't catch. John said, I can freeze dry milk, then sprinkle over your dry cereal. <laughs> there you go. That's a colorful rod you got there, Austin. One of Stan three is a uh, mad cat's rod. Oh, Bob her down. Bob her down. Bob her down. Okay, I seen that hook set. Well, I couldn't let my other oh, rock. <laughs> Did the Shailene hook set? Hook set. Oh, well, I said that all wrong. It's a crappy or crappie? Crappy crappie? Crabby fish. Yeah. A great bait. I'm going to see. I got to see if he's 10. Mm. Did you know a bucket lid? You got a little bit of everything out there now. He's right at 10. 10 and a quarter, as a matter of fact. Okay. You know, I'm putting them in my middle bucket. I'm going to keep them alive for tomorrow at Jody's show. He's good already. Good sign. There you go. She's gonna come in. Where's that crappie at? Lunch. I think <laughs> What Matt wants to know what kind of float that is, Josh. All right, this is a. Oh gosh, that crazy website that Timu. Uh, let's see. It's just, it's got, you can read Chinese, you know. But what do you call those? You just call it suspended or you got the number for that? There is no number. There used to be one in seven. It's for eight. One screws on the top. But then it's I normally, it, I think now I just say this suspended right on the left. Okay. Matter of fact, you turn your. Uh, we still just so battery, if you turn the battery around it turns red, but I think the green attracts them better. There it is. Nice. But it glows really good. Dan three, Austin and I were having that same conversation on Sunday. But what do you think it should be called? Which one? Okay. <laughs> the, like the order. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Well, you said what, I, I must have missed a part of that. But no, we were having a conversation of should we count the down rods as as like the left one as one, or we just said left left down right down. I'm thinking it should be the down rods are A and B, <laughs> A oh, and B, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. But it's you not not my boat, so. <laughs> Alpha and Omega. Alpha and Omega. <laughs> you could just go with the Zeus. one that's bending. Then you got Zeus, Hercules. <laughs> yeah. I, I won't be able to think of six of them. That's funny that yeah, you bring that up, Dustin. Athena. Because that's Zeus and there's Hercules right there. That's funny. Oh, there you go. Zeus and Hercules. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna pull a muscle there, Stan. People oh, watch it. Probably, oh my tricep! I told you. What are you doing? Come on. Yoder one and two. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Yoder one, Yoder two, Yon. Oh, Yon, Yoder. I think Yon. He said Yon, Yoder one and Yonder two. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like, Call him Ezekiel and uh Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Ezekiel and Jedediah. <laughs> <laughs> or you could call him Ezekiel and Tony. <laughs> <laughs> there you Josh go. Kratos. Yeah, Kratos. I like that. He made I yonder. I just small one, but... <laughs> as soon as you thought about it, as soon as I thought of getting up, I, I have a problem Englishing too. Sometimes, Matt, don't worry about it. Which it one went down, yonder one or yonder two? Neither, Kratos. Kratos. <laughs> Which is that? Three? Asparagus. Uh, that would be A C D E F. Oh, oh Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Rod F. <laughs> <laughs> got it. <is> random words. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, yonder. You We're, just yelling like, stuff out. We're getting hit. like Peyton Manning out there. Uh, yeah, Omaha, Omaha. <laughs> Daco, hey Daco, Austin, can you turn Omaha. your camera to your? Turn the camera to the right a little bit. There you go. There we go. Much yeah, better. Kratos. Kratos is getting hit, and yonder. Yonder just got tapped. <laughs> Over there, Yonder. <laughs> oh, there goes Tony. <laughs> There's Tony. Tap <laughs> you, Tony. <laughs> oh, oh, look at George. Uh, well, he ain't Five. getting hit. Yeah, no. <laughs> he didn't get <laughs> George ain't moving right now. <laughs> Which one is George? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The one that's not moving. You have to go A, B, C, D. Oh, there he is. <laughs> or just look for the rod that's moving, one or the other. Getting a headache thinking of all this. <laughs> Going to have to go no hat. No hat on the play. <laughs> all this yonder and everything. Yonder and yonder. He just misspelled it. <laughs> that one was I hit. doubt that, but Captain Hunter said, name a rod Tyson. And down goes Tyson. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, that'll never, 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 never catch another fish on that rod. <laughs> and that, how about we name all of them Jake Paul? <laughs> oh, good. I saw um I don't know if it's real or not, but I saw he the I saw that the fight has been canceled or postponed because he got his uh he had a he's got a back injury. Which one? Who? Jake. Oh Jake does? That's what I saw. I don't know if it was real or what, but well, I can't if, believe you saw it. It on the, if you saw it on the internet, it's gotta be true because exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Every, everything on the interwebs is true. Right. Yeah. 
Except if you see something about stand two fishing or something, then that's not true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I was just trying to give her. I was, trying, I was trying to give everybody a chance to catch up with me. There you go. Well, uh, Matt said oh, that means they're all, get, they're all going to get. They're all going to get broken if you name Jake Paul. <laughs> I think that one's going to stick. Ezekiel's going to stick. I think so too. Oh, I, I, like, I see it. I see it. Right. I like Tony. Right B. Come on, B. Tony. Come on, Tony. Is it <laughs> Ezekiel. My bad. Tony's getting oh, hit. Tony. Come on, Tony. <laughs> Kratos. Tony, Tony and Ezekiel are the only ones getting hit. Kratos. Kratos. Kratos is getting it now. Rod F. <laughs> Uncle Jeep had a question. Did Stan three shave his head in order to be to be let on the boat? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's, there's a requirement, actually. Prerequisites. Yep. Austin has a, a straight razor right there. I do. Looped onto the boat. Oh, uh, who's who's rocking the boat? It must be me. <laughs> it must be. <clears throat> Tony. Tony's getting up. Oh. There it is. Come on, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot more fun when you name the rods. It sure is. JG hey, said this fish, this fish make you guys boys gun shy. <laughs> Matt said now you have to do the hey, what's your name meme on the video. Yep. What's your name? Austin's tired. He did 50 up down <laughs> at the last okay, spot. <laughs> Yeah, no, they really got to impress me over here. Johnson, I'll Captain never be on Austin's boat. That's right. You're missing looks like, out. Looks like the, docks, the docks got another one. Six fish for 137 pounds so far. So that last fish was four oh, pounds. Come on, Tony. Oh, I've got you guys up on the big screen on my TV in the, in the living room. And so I, there's a, there's a, about a five second delay where you guys are saying one rod's going down. I'm looking at my TV like, no, it's not. I'm like, oh wait, it is. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? It's Tony. Me, Tony. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> oh, I love that so much. Oh, Tony. Ezekiel. Ezekiel, come on, Ezekiel, you got this. Come on, Raiders. come on, come on, come on. Tony. Tony's got all of them. It's the same fish. You might got both of them. If yeah. That's the same fish. That's a big fish. <laughs> He's down there tying their trying the rods together, lines together <laughs> underneath the boat. Yeah. They're be pulling each other. It's like the uh it's like redneck windshield wipers. He's down there pulling one side <laughs> and one side. <laughs> 922 said same it's the same fish down there. Say, watch the fools. When I keep switching back and forth, <laughs> yeah. he's doing suicides down there. He's like, tell oh, George Tony. to go up and be spotter. Tony, he's getting a little more. Tony's getting a little more aggressive. Yeah, he's finally getting that bait lure down to where he can fit it in his mouth. Yonder, oh, oh. yonder, yonder, getting it. Tony. <laughs> <laughs> so now we got to come up with names for all the other six rods. No, I can do that. And just, it's got to come to us, Kratos. <laughs> which was which was Kratos though? That one, Ezekiel, uh, no, Rod, Ezekiel, Tony, Tony. <laughs> yonder. The rods are going crazy. I don't know if y'all can see it. Yeah, we can see it. We could see Tony. I, I can't see too much oh. of the other ones, but yonder. <laughs> well, who's yonder? Way I'm over confused. there, Rod. <laughs> that way one that's way out yonder. Rod. Oh. Uh, <laughs> a B C D E F. That would be Rod G. These two look like they're oh, they're oh, pulling oh. each other back and forth. Come on, Ezekiel, oh, you got oh. it. Come yeah, on, we're Tony. Playing, we're playing uh, redneck windshield wipers down there. That's for sure. <laughs> They're like, is this the piano? Like, if I pull this, does it make a sound? That one seems like it got heavy. That is hilarious, Dustin. Tony, Tony didn't gain a few pounds, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it might Maybe. be a flathead just sitting with it. Yeah, it kind of, 
It looked like it. Gonna say. Hey, look, look, look. Oh, I want to reel down on this. Don't yeah. do it yet. Don't do it I'm yet. I'm not going to. Walk away. It's going to. Oh. Just stay in your <laughs> comfortable seat. <laughs> yeah. Oh. But we got everybody on the edge of their seats. Hope this is entertaining. Just close your eyes. You know what it is? It's it's Austin and Stan three. One is pulling on one rod, one is pulling on the <laughs> other. That's all it is. One of each. Matt said, "Name the fish, Stevie, because he can't see what he's doing." <laughs> there you go. Can y'all see the graph, or is it too blurred out? No, no it's, it's kind of small. Blurred. It's like when uh, there's all kinds of stuff on there. Wasn't that Dr. Dre that said that uh, he gets phone calls from Stevie Wonder at all kinds of weird hours because, like, what what the heck is 3 a.m. to Stevie Wonder? He can't he can't <laughs> see anyway. <laughs> yeah. You get a call at 3 a.m. from Stevie Wonder. Hey, you, you eating breakfast or what? <laughs> oh, Rowdy oh, Roy gave you another. Sleep. Rowdy Roy gave you another name. You got to name it Abner. Abner, there you go. Abner. Okay. That's good for number one. A, letter, Rod A, yeah, Abner. Okay. Abner, and Yonder, fish. Tony, and Ezekiel. Got it. Yep. Kratos. Kratos. You got hit as we said it. And look at that one, definitely heavy. I think it's just me being heavy. No, look at look at how much that one's tipped, though. It's the same amount of weight. Tony's oh, still bouncing. Oh, oh, Come on, oh. Tony. You can do it, Tony. Let's Yonder, who's got four rods being hit at the same time right now? Let's go, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Tony and Ezekiel stand out the most to us. It's harder to see. I build a fire right over there. <laughs> yeah, that's Ron, some. Ron said, I got to tell you, listening mark. to the show with no context, and I feel like it's a day at the track. In the lead, you have Tony and the rear is yonder. <laughs> and they're coming around the final stretch. <laughs> Kratos is making a strong move right now. <laughs> On the inside. Hammer oh, backwards. Gosh. Matt said, do it, Tony. They're great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yonder. Tiger, you yonder. Got it. Bite over yonder. Oh, Abner he ain't doing nothing though. You know, Abner's he's <laughs> what about Wheaties? Digging. What's Wheaties doing? He hanging out with Abner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking a nap. Josh, you got any bait over there? No, I ain't caught nothing yet. They moved out for a minute. I got the FOE out. All right, let us know if you get a hit. Josh was on fire there for a while with the white bass and crappy and skip jerk. Oh, come on, skip come on, Tony. Come oh, on, oh. Tony. Come on, Tony. Come on. There. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, Tony. <laughs> Jeb, Jeb, come on. Where's Jebediah at? <laughs> This is one of the most exciting live streams we've had in a long time. It, it's just a bunch of blue crabs down there is all it is. I think oh. Cornelius just got a hit. Cornelius. <laughs> you got to point out Cornelius. Uh, letter C. Rod number C. Letter C. Rod, Rod number, number C. Rod number C. <laughs> <laughs> number C. <laughs> Rod number C. Got it. Oh, I thought Ezekiel Apparently. got hit again. Apparently... Got the Mad Cats on the field. Speaking of Mad Cats, we got Mad Cats coming in probably Saturday or Monday. Nine two two said, "I had you all on the speaker while cooking." The wife was looking at me like I'm not, I'm a nut job. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, you're not the only one. Danielle looks at me like, "What the heck are these guys doing?" That's what makes it fun. That's, That's fine. My wife, my wife looks at me like that all the time. I'm not even watching YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Somebody's there. Right? Oh, Austin's Somebody. getting anxious. I got oh, Ezekiel, Ezekiel going. Come on, Ezekiel. You can do it. Come on, Tony. <laughs> Rhonda says, 922, I have come to accept we are all our own degree of crazy to be here. Tony, Tony, Tony. Ezekiel, Tony. Ezekiel, Ezekiel. Ezekiel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take some bets. Who thinks Ezekiel's going down before Tony? Kratos. 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 Could it be Kratos for the win? Or could it be Austin with no more another no fish? And went out Connor, three wide. That one's hooked up. Big dog. Kratos hooked up. Three wide on the well, that doesn't mean anything. Too soon. Too soon. Oh, sorry. Randy said, sit down, Austin. You ain't doing nothing but hoping. <laughs> <laughs> Kratos went out three wide on the final turn. Coming down the home stretch. Will it be Kratos? Will he be able to hang on? Will he be able to make it in the boat? 922 said, Rhonda, you see the friends I hang out with. <laughs> Come on, Tony. Come on, Ezekiel. You got this. Or will Tony or Ezekiel make a last minute push? Oh, 922 thinks Tony. Oh, one B says Ezekiel. What do y'all think? Ezekiel or Tony first? Tony, I'm I'm saying Tony. Kratos, I'm saying Kratos. We got Kratos some wasn't strong a Kratos right here. We're Kratos talking wasn't about, a choice. We're talking about was, Tony and Ezekiel. It was just the down rods. Get a bite. I'm getting a bite. All right. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Come on, Ezekiel. Hold it out. Hold it out. Uh, Not bad. Too soon. Whoa, whoa. Holy crap, I thought my line was broke. I heard that. <laughs> oh, that looks a little... No, never mind. <laughs> yeah, see, not hand. easy to stretch from way back there, is it? Nice uh, fish. Not there we go. He's pissing at you. Matt oh, come said on, all Tony. the lines are going to be in that fish's mouth. Yeah. <laughs> fish was actually hooked in the mouth. That's Randy said, Tony. Oh, holy cow, now you can go home. All right. Thank you, guys. See you guys next week. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Get that one. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, look at that go. Look at it go. Come on, come on. Don't miss it. Here you want Dan three, do something. <laughs> oh, look at Austin's pulling a Tyler again. What? <laughs> I got him. I got him back on the first one. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Mrs. Fever said, "Hey, that's a fish. Not that I doubted you or anything." <laughs> Getting a ten thirty bite. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. She says, now get the snacks home. <laughs> Yay, Mrs. Fever gets to see a fish. Now I get the snacky snacks home. <laughs> Nine two two. That guy got some attitude. You got another fish on, Austin? Yeah. Sweet. We're still we're still taking the Ezekiel and Tony bets though. Jeez, this one what's go ahead. That one's tangled in a couple lines, he said. Uh oh. Jeep said, What's with all these crazy names? Are Austin and Stan 3 planning more kids? Do their <laughs> wives know about this? Sounds like Brady Bunch syndrome. I don't think they have to plan them. It just happens. We have to have this talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right, Matt. Now, well, now they can't oh. leave. The bite's picking up. We got that's twins. A good, that's a good double up right there. I'll take that any day of the week. I told you that's a good spot. Twice on stand day. Three times on snagging night life. Oh. Well, Tony or Ezekiel could do their job over here. Well, Tony's not close enough to the bank, I don't think. 
<laughs> that spot right there is undisclosed location. Started, I don't know if we had started YouTube. Yeah, we must have. I think that was one of the. We caught a. That's where I caught my best flathead. We had a heck of a night right there. That day, that spot right there is also where we caught the winning fish for the river tournament against the Tennessee River. One of them. That 33 pounder right there at the end. Yep. Nice. Yep. Beautiful. Not a bad double up there. Ow, ow, ow. There you go. There you go. There's nice. Nice double up. Perfect. Sweet. All right, we'll let him go. Beautiful fish, guys. I'm gonna say at least 122 pounds between the both of those fish. Right <laughs> yeah, somewhere in that range. <laughs> give, give or take, and he gone. You mean fish, huh? Yeah, I'll Mike, show. you too much. I'll show you. I heard you're Amish. <laughs> He's like, I prefer New Wave Dutch. <laughs> Watch Tony go doubled over right there in front. Oh, that guy was there nice. Goes. Yeah, that guy was nice and gentle. That first guy was a jerk. <laughs> he was mad. He didn't he didn't ask for the piercing. He brought his daughter in for the piercing, but Yeah, she was she was really glad she got it. That's why she swished him away fine. She was happy. Finally got her lip pierced. She was just a teenager, that second one. Is this a stands day or a dusting night? We're all out this about is snagging. A... Snagging night live. There you go. Randy said they prefer New Wave Dutch. The, the Smith eat them. <laughs> That's how you get up. That's how you get your weight up, says Mr. Rogers. Well, welcome in, Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers in the neighborhood. How's it going? Great to see you. Ron is there's one in every crowd. Get to try the new reel. Yeah, I appreciate that. Love them so great. Mr. Rogers said, Well done, Austin. Thank you. Y'all see how pretty my rig is? That's beautiful. I'm pretty proud of that one. That looks like some store bought stuff right there. Yeah, get, beautiful. Get those fancy beads at uh, FOACustomsgear.com. Those are the booger beads right there. You can use code TSW10 or Fever10 or Two Stands10. Save yourself 10%. Hey, he's going to come up in a couple weeks. Uh, Brady. Nice. Uh, we stopped the store. I mean, we sold out of the power line. Oh, sweet. Uh, sold out of his uh, planter boards. Not surprised. Yeah. Got good stuff. How's the current up there, y'all? Pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. Exactly what you'd want. Beautiful. It's not like it's not flooded or nothing like that. Or it's like like a strong outgoing tide. We gotta cut up another. I'm gonna do uh here clapper. It don't. We what do you can just do chunks or whatever. What's well, been working?
Wee. I was going to say, was it just me or did it get quiet in here? <laughs> <laughs> the other night I caught 15 skipjack right here. But it, it seemed like every 15, 20 minutes they'd come through here. I'd, I'd catch <clears throat> about two or three and another, another 15, 20 minutes they'd come around again. Huh. There you go. Matt said, I need to drill me a cutting board on my cooler like Austin has. Chipping my knives on the rocks is getting bad. Austin has a uh, short out on how he did that. Put some attachments on the top of his uh, cooler and can uh, lock the cutting board in place. And then when you're done with it, you can pop it off to wash it, to wash it. Looks like uh, Josh got another one. Uh-oh. There's a little white bass. Yeehaw. Dancing. He's dancing. It's dancing, cool. dancing. Dum, dum, dum. Wish we had white bass here. I can ship you some. <laughs> got white perch yeah i can't i've been wanting waiting for them to uh get turned back on again it's like they were up the one day and then the weather changed and the water changed and now we're back to waiting for them again my dad lives in north carolina and he said they call the white perch guacamole or something like that you ever heard of that they call them walk them all, yeah. walk them all. Yeah, walk them all. Huh. I, I've never heard of that. That's what they call them. Walk them all. But now we're like Brian B and we're Chad. We're them guys. At, aren't they in North Carolina or South Carolina? Or something? No. Chad's yep. in Ohio. Ohio. Brian B's uh, in the Northern Virginia, Potomac. Oh, it's Kevin and Kevin Lincoln. Yeah, he's yeah. Palmetto. Yeah, he's in South Carolina. Okay. See, someone that was fishing last Saturday on the, uh, the live tournament, they were fishing the, I think they said uh, either Baden River or uh, it was a, uh, it was off of Lake Norman or something. Remember them talking about it, but yeah, Austin and Stan Three. I think you're using too small a baits, is what the problem is. I you, agree. Know, you know, your bait's only 12 inches long. <laughs> there you go. Hey, that worked better. Down to, yeah, that's only about a half pound chunk. Now that'll work better. You got a 14 pound, uh, 14 inch bait for a 14 knot hook. <laughs> Match the size of the bait with the hook. Uh, got the geese. Yeah, the geese are climbing down there. Yeah. Okay. Who was asking about the cutting board? Matt. Uh, there you go. So all it is is a couple stainless keyed brackets. And uh, the brackets on the cooler are identical. They're just flipped 180 degrees. So they just slide right in. You know. There you go. And then you make sure you put it on so that when you open the cooler, it doesn't slide off the back. You want it to slide off of the front. But I got them on Amazon. 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 There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little space saving. And like that, that cooler is a 
it's a live bait cooler, so the cutting board is off centered. It kind of hangs off the edge a little bit so that there's room for the uh the hose for the bubbler to go into the top of the cooler there. Oh, sweet. They actually put a head bit of thought into that one. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it it saves a little bit of room in the boat. Right. Good tonight. Kratos just got hit again. I've seen that. Oh, yep. Uh, I, saw, <laughs> I saw an instant replay of delay. that. Delay, yeah. <laughs> we, we, can't, we can't really see uh, Yonder over there very well. Your oh, camera got turned again. Really? Yeah, Ezekiel's out of frame. There we go. There you go. Wonder, uh... That's right, Ezekiel, sorry. That's Tony. Tony's over there by uh, by the lights. Yeah, yeah. I just raised the lights up a little. The convex light. Oh, Something there goes hit. Ezekiel. Ezekiel got hit. Here we go. I just raised oh. the convex light up a little bit. Maybe y'all can see the, you know, the rods on the rack a little bit better. I don't know. You didn't retired, Rick. Thanks for coming in. Says hello, fellas. Hey, hey retired Rick. Rick. Hey, I got your hat today, Rick. Looks good. They got tornadoes up there, didn't they? Yes, they. Reed Timmer was intercepting one when I was uh, on my way here. Not Reed Timmer. Yeah. He did awesome. Glad you got it. And uh, hope I couldn't hope remember Rick Reed. Is hope rick is doing well make sure you keep uh, your well wishes and prayers and stuff going uh oh bubber down, bubber down, bubber down, bubber down. he says it's been raining there come on come on back come on back still got pretty clear skies here yeah. yonder is getting messed with or Yoder, is it Yonder or Yoder? <laughs> Yonder. <laughs> Yoder was a was a typo. And here nope, I was, thought he was trying to make uh, make fun of the Amish name. Hey, Heather Langstrom in the chat saying hi everyone. Like, share, and tag you, Dustin. Thank you so much, Heather. We really appreciate that. Well, up, Heather? Hello, hello. Hello. Hey Heather. Thank each and every one of y'all for coming in the chat and sticking up, uh, sticking out with or hanging out with us tonight. I can't talk. I'm tired. <laughs> I appreciate inviting me, Dustin. Absolutely. Thanks for fishing, Josh. Let's yeah, for a while. Yeah. I was going to say for a while there, I thought it was uh, Josh that was going to make it the fishing show. And usually it's not. Uh, Josh, Josh was on, slaying the bait. I want to get back to Stan's day. Uh, we're supposed to go to back down to get some more bait Sunday. Is that the wall? In Big Mike's territory. Oh, there you go. Uh, I fished with fishing with Big Mike. Does that make sense? Oh. Yes. <laughs> Retired Rick is saying, how do you guys keep from getting all the rods tangled when a fish hits? We run six poles and get tangled almost every time. <laughs> so do we. <laughs> <laughs> it's inevitable, Rick. It, it happens. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh. Yeah, just jumped right next to the boat. It's definitely a little bit easier in the river. Yeah, it's as long as uh, as long as you got you know good current and the wind's not messing with you too bad, it's not too you know. Usually, a lot of times it's the fish that does it. It's not you know, it's not there you. you or nice one, environment. Uh, there you go. Look at what he hit. That little he hit the top one. I run three because if you run more than three, you can't keep the fish. Really. <laughs> Yep, in Tennessee, you got to run 
if you're bait fishing, you can run, run as many hooks as you want. But if you get a game fish on that, you have to let it go. So that's what I run three. I'll hmm. show you my top one. This is just a wide gap hook. Oh, the other mad right. With a little grub <laughs> and dipped it in chartreuse. Yeah. Garlic garlic chartreuse. Yeah, try that if you if you don't try that. Or if you never did. The spike uh, it. Yep. Yeah, garlic, man. That's that's a ticket. And then there's the second one with that red. And then third one. Is the heavier one, so I got the, the this is a 16th and this is a 1 8th. 1 8th, yeah. yeah. So to get the heavy one on the bottom, but uh, but yeah, if you have more than uh three hooks and you keep a crappie or a white, they'll nail you. They've got wow. such strange regulations from state to state and even body of water to body of water it's just uh you know just like rod limits why not just set uh possession limits on things and then you can use whatever rod you want to use <laughs> you make and it sound letting, so easy stan you're letting all the fish go who cares how many rods you're using randy Swain said, over there over where yonder ezekiel <laughs> Come on, E. What do call E? Let's go, Tony. Let's go, E. I think George just got tapped. <laughs> <laughs> Are they all males? Oh. <laughs> so far. Yeah, so far. I threw out Athena, but nobody, nobody, uh, that one didn't stick. Yeah, it didn't. That one didn't, uh, ran that up the flagpole. No one saluted that one. That's for sure. Nope. What was what was the other what was wasn't uh, Atticus? I want to say Atticus. <laughs> Cornelius. Cornelius. That's Danny Stones has got the female rods, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's got Black Betty and Jody and I just know them too. What was the what was the A name that we? That's Abner. what I'm trying to remember. Ab Abner. Abner, there That's you go. Abner, yeah. Little I Abner. I wanted to say Atticus. <laughs> oh, 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 George! Oh, there it is. There it is. Get it, stand. Get it. Let's get go, it, get George. It. Run, run, please. Come on. <laughs> oh. oh no! All right, way to go, us. I mean, uh, Stan. Little George. Let go. Did he come? Yeah, off? yeah. I feel my off in the field, Dad. So. <laughs> he went up there and jerked the hook out of his mouth. Mm -hmm. Oh, yonder! Oh, yonder! 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 yonder. That, that hook turned up in itself. <laughs> yonder! Yonder! Over yonder! Come on, yonder! Double right over. Matt said, "When Danny and Austin fish together, they have little dock demons." Oh, Cornelius. Cornelius, <laughs> get it. Get, 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 get it. Oh. Uh, Too late. Whoa. Whoa. whoa hello. <laughs> oh, Austin. 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 Ooh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> citation. John from Captain Turner's TV said rubber hooks. I have some of those too. <laughs> That's true. Josh, what was that? Stand three would be like, I just caught an Amish. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get a check for world record. <laughs> What's the biggest Amish ever caught? <laughs> Somebody take the books. That's a good question. I mean, Dang it, George. Which way did he go, George? Which way did he go? <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Buzzard bringing home the baby bumblebee because his mother was going to be so proud of me. <laughs> don't All right, guys, we'll, we'll run for about five more minutes. I still got to get some sleep, so I have a doctor's appointment in the morning. 
Okie doke. Randy Swain said, well, Burrito is headed to bed, so I'm following her. I'd rather I'd rather be in a room with her instead of y'all. Good night. <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you. <laughs> Matt said, like that commercial with the old guy and the dollar. Ooh, you got to be quicker than that. That's right. <laughs> Think of that at least once every time I come out on the river. Heather said, uh, what kind of fish are y'all catching tonight? Blue catfish so far. Mrs. Mrs. Fever said, I hear you. I hear yawning. How late are y'all going to be out? I don't know. I'd like to and fish, uh, probably fish a couple more spots after the live stream. Matt said, Randy, psh, don't lie. Then no, Josh, over there, is, Josh over there has caught some white bass, some skip jerk. <laughs> Oh, wait, they're not skip jerk till you get the flavoring on them, right? Yeah, yeah. They're skip jerk when they jump off. Come on, come back to me. Come on, E. You got this, E. Let's do it. Come on, Here, yeah. get it, 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 get it. You know what I think happened, Austin, is that we we talked up the uh, snacky snacks too much, so. <laughs> yeah, that's why we're not eating them right now. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I swear we're not eating. You got the milk? <laughs> they stopped to get a half gallon of milk on the way out there. <laughs> Come on, E, let's do it. You got three minutes. Bobble down, bobble down. Oh, we haven't yeah. named. Yeah, we'll fish on. We got fish on. The second rod yet. Oh, it's a skip jerk. I'm waiting for it to go down and yeah. just see how like Bridget. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I just moved Bridget. Oh, that's Whoa. a true. <laughs> That was a true skip jerk. Oh, no. He broke you off? No, he jumped right there, three foot away from the bank. Oh. That's a true skip jerk. Dang it, Josh. That was James causing skip jerk. Let's see. I can't take that, James. That's right, Heather. Here, fishy, fishy. Yeah, going. Come on, Jebediah. You got this. What's going to Jebediah? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that one. I'm cheering for him. It's the next one that bites. <laughs> that one. We have Tony. Oh, yonder. Yoder. What? Yonder? Yonder. <laughs> yoder, yonder. So you spell it yeah. three different ways. Dustin does not do very well with that one. No. That 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 one doesn't work. Yonder well. Cornelius. No. George. No, it wasn't. He, <laughs> he doesn't do very well with the one that's bent over. The one that's bent over. The one that's bent over. Doesn't do well with that one either. Nope. Not at all. Abner. Oh, don't get that, the one right, right there. Right there. <laughs> oh, shoot. Come on, Ezekiel. Ezekiel. <laughs> Ezekiel. Oh. Oh, we got oh. Mrs. Mrs. Fever said, I'm headed upstairs with the little man. Y'all have a good night and be safe. Night, everybody. Night, Mrs. Okay, Fever. babe. All right. Well, Love boom, you. boom, bam. Thank you so much, David Smith. $10 said, good to see the TSW show making a strong comeback. Fishing once again. There you go. There you go. <clears throat> well, you know what I've always been told? You can't end the show with one of those um, super chats sitting up there, so... So, uh, David just gave you all a few more minutes. All right. You want one of my meat sticks? <laughs> They're delicious. <laughs> I can they are them. good. <laughs> <laughs> they are good. The old Duke's brand. Oh. Oh. Some crackers yeah. must have, yep. must have sat in some shad scales <laughs> over here. I'm not saying it. <laughs> we got Duke's in our store, man. Oh, did you? Or do you? 
You've got some of his meat sticks too. Oh, you can't get it open. No, I'm showing off. <laughs> oh. I thought you couldn't get it open. <laughs> you can't get it open either. Well, I'm so used to people handing me jars they can't open or whatever. You know, it's how it is. Thank but you no, again, it was. David, appreciate that. It's uh, <laughs> and I'm I'm still here, meat stickless. <laughs> <laughs> We've heard that about you. <laughs> it's uh, Tony, Tony. Abner, oh. Bridget, Bridget, Cornelius. All right, have a good night, Rick. George, we got Kratos. Kratos, that's what it was. And uh, yonder. There we go, another white bass over there. Oh, crappie, another crappie. Nice crappie. Remember that. That's not. A, <laughs> that's not a crappy crappie either. That's a nice one. I can remember it. That's a ten. Probably eleven. Oh goodness! They're moving in to bite right before this. He certainly is, Rick. Pretty sure Bridget just got tapped. David Smith said, "Matt, how are the storms up there? Want to be outdoors?" Oh, Abner, Abner, Abner. Abner. That's why they're all boy rots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. David Smith telling Josh that's lunch for tomorrow. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I might stay a little bit and get some more. I got me a burrito I'm going to have for lunch tomorrow. Oh, you're scared of me. Uh, there's a storm coming in at about 11 30, quarter to 12. Well, it's 11 02 now, so. Yeah. Well, speaking of fake, speaking of fake Mexican food, if you have the Taco Bell app out there to create your own thing. <laughs> <laughs> you can create your own cravings box for six bucks. That's a pretty good deal. You got to do it on the app, though. I think Stan Three's created his own cravings box there on the boat. Uh, <laughs> I keep going like this. Like, Talk with your mouth full. What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Come on, Abner. Just do it. Come on, Tony. I have another bed. I don't got the go gut on my You got this. <laughs> oh, you, you, you set me up right there. <laughs> Matt full of course, of Austin's meat sticks. Uh, yeah, whoa. Matt couldn't resist that one. Hey, you know, it was no, right there. Couldn't. You had to do it. Here, kitty, kitty again. It worked the last time. <coughs> All right. It is eleven oh four. We'll go to eleven oh five. We'll. <laughs> one more fish. Yeah, we'll go one more. <laughs> snore bite. Woo. That wasn't Tony. a snore. Tony. <laughs> Break wind bite. Snore is smell fun. <laughs> It doesn't brush his teeth. <laughs> Rhonda says, Stan 3, did Stan share the almond coconut Christmas crack with you? Oh, well, I'm glad I didn't see any of that. <laughs> it's messed up. All right. It's 11 to 5. Josh is probably going to get packed up so we can get out of that before that storm hits. Uh, Austin and Stan, I know you're having some fun out there, so hopefully you... Uh, Continue to have some good luck and catch some more fish tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. 
Uh, if you catch a big one, if, uh, send some pictures. Watch. Sure. Hey, good luck, Dan. Uh, 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 three. Thank you. Thanks for on here, Dustin. Josh, Stan three, Austin. Thank you all, Stan two. Thank you all for coming up tonight and chatting with us and fishing and yes, making this a fishing show and having a great night. <laughs> I, I know I had a lot of fun. Absolutely. Um, us too. Us too. You know, I'm glad we caught. I'm glad. I'm glad we caught some fish tonight because it was getting kind of rough as far as like the James River YouTube community was going. Because you either get like like you can tell when nobody's catching fish because you get homemade rod builds chick-fil-a <laughs> sauce <laughs> and cast nets being thrown in the river <laughs> that's right so at least we got some <laughs> fish in the boat <laughs> but thank you everybody in chat for coming in david thank you again for the ten dollar super chat we really appreciate it uh uh sampy thank you again for becoming a new member this evening uh all thank the, you all the, all the whisker warriors out there is greatly appreciated uh we'll we'll try to do something for y'all here um coming up the first half of this year um just as our appreciation so uh but but thank you everybody in chat for keeping uh, for hanging out with us tonight uh we hope everybody has a wonderful evening has a great day tomorrow an awesome weekend and we'll check you out again next thursday night all right we'll see you tomorrow night this Yes, sir. Don't forget, we got Stan uh, Friday night cat chat with Stan on two stands fishing tomorrow night, eight o'clock. And we got Pontoon Jody's um, Flathead Challenge. We're keeping score, y'all. So come check it out. Come join us. Hope everybody has a great night, and we will talk to you later. Fish on. Day. We got Stan Day on Sunday morning, too. Stan Day Sunday morning. Don't forget that. I'm going to end that on a fish on. Fish on. Hey, it worked. It worked. <laughs>